Okay, you guys love budget glove videos, and this is the number one ranked budget glove on our list. So, 44 came out of freaking nowhere. This is what they call the Speed Custom. This is actually steer hide leather. This here takes two to three weeks to get to your door. Pretty impressive, not gonna lie. It's not like an ad read or anything, but with that being said, this is only 160 bucks. That's wild. Point is, we need to find out if the 44 budget glove is legit. Let's talk about the actual break-ins. This broke-in, quite a bit easier than our 44 here. So this says something like 50% player break-in. I think those are stupid. What does that mean? 50% of what? Zach, 50% of what? 100. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is way closer to game ready than this, but neither of them are ready out of the box. You have to break them in. Overall, I'm not like super satisfied with where we're at with this break-in. It just, it's taking a long time. It's not like super stiff leather. It's just not like forming to my hand very quickly. Anyway, you guys, both gloves, wearing them traditional. This one's just a lot deeper of a pattern, as you can see. I know I love this glove. This is our number one budget glove on the list. Like, I love this thing a ton. So if this can even compare, that's a good sign, but I really just don't know yet. The price is so similar. We're talking 150, 160. Play catch, field ground balls. Let's just do what we do. We're starting off with the Gamer XLE. Like I said, this thing, it's gonna be much deeper. Once you like warm up, like we're gonna like kind of throw kind of hard. I think I mentioned it in the budget video. This has like a slightly padded feeling. Like it has a little bit of that like youth budget feel. Really comfortable though, but I feel like that would turn some people off. Like, I know it's not like a fancy, nice glove, but I like this thing so much. For 150, I mean, it's wild. I genuinely, it's the best out there right now. 150, go for it. Let's play catch with the 44. The overall feel is way more comparable to like a high-end glove. Like this feels like a lot more leather on this glove. Whereas that has, I don't know, alternate materials that feel soft and squishy and comfortable but this is leather so inside and out i like that i like that like as i'm thinking about it like if you gave me this glove and didn't tell me the price i'd guess 200 bucks it's quite a surprise like i i, I don't know i'm still kind of surprised that they even make money on this because so far it feels like really high quality not like crazy but for 160 bucks i'm not really sure how they make money the break-in's not like 100% there, but this pattern, it's a little bit tighter, it's not as big, but man, I don't know. I don't like it nearly as much as this Rawlings here. Let me take one more really quick. Just, I mean, like, comfort out the wazoo, man. I mean, that's perfect pocket right there. I won't move it. You can see, that's a pretty tight pocket, traditional perfectly in there but i'm still like holding it myself kind of like that honestly like i like the way that feels when i'm actually fielding but just like overall it is kind of wild how comfortable the gamer xle is they're pretty big opposites honestly when it comes to like the actual pattern and shape i'm having such a hard time trying to think about like which one's actually more durable long term i really don't know yet i feel like we'd have to get like a good heat test in to figure that out I think it's cool is that the 44 doesn't look like a children's glove. Yeah, that's okay. That's actually a pretty good point. So like my least favorite part about the Gamer XL is just the design. It, it doesn't like the silver. I don't know. Kind of looks a little bit childish. Not in love with it. Then again, once you're actually using it and playing with it, like great experience. Absolutely love it. There's a reason it's number one. Like I said, when it, when I first got this, I had to ask 44. I was like, how much does this cost? Because I thought they said something like 170 or 160. But when I first got it, I didn't believe them. I was like, this is probably like, maybe like 190 or something. Like Anyway, 160, it feels like a quote unquote professional glove still. Zach, do you have it in you to throw a few extra hard? Show his muscles. <laughs> We currently do not have access to a pitching machine, so we're using the guns over here, and uh, this is going to be our heat test today. So we really just want to see how much, like, bullying is going on. Yeah, that's, like, perfect. Very little resistance there. I mean, like, I'm able to just stick it. Perfect throw. All right, I'm going to the 44. 
like no bullying whatsoever. Perfect little experience. I don't know what that, that was dumb. Nice. I definitely, like there was a little bit of doinkage right there, which is probably just because of break-in. Like it's not complete. That's beautiful. Okay, I can say one thing. Rawlings, it's a little bit softer leather and then this is a little bit harder. Like I said, definitely a, a little bit more of a youth feel versus like a professional feel. So let me show you this though. If I push in in our index finger here, this is caving in a ton. Not a huge fan of that. When I push in here, one, it's not caving in as much. And it's kind of doing it a little bit higher. The 44 is lower down here, like for to really force it down. Big difference there. And it's extra interesting because I'm pretty sure this is overall stiffer than this, yet it's flexing more. I don't know. Clock this. Holy night. Dang it, that was a bad idea. I have... I have brand new socks on and they're like super slick. I played in socks the other day and it wasn't that bad, but these are like, I don't know, I think because they've never been worn, they're like extra slickery. This glove feels so good. I've This is my first time fielding with it. Here's the takeaway. It's a budget glove video, but if you want the best glove ever, just spend like a thousand dollars on a Mizuno Haga. Should I just take my shoes off? Socks off. Let the dogs out. What? I'm letting the dogs out. Get over it. All right, one more. It's funny. He's so much better at hitting ground balls than you. 44 Pro. What is this called again? 44 Pro. What is this? 44 Pro Speed Custom. Did I even mention that this is steer hide leather? Oopsie daisy. Not gonna lie, it doesn't feel very good. I'm gonna go two in the pinky. Back to traditional. No. Okay, I just, I can absolutely tell Part of it is the fact that it's just not like fully, fully broken in because it's just got that awkward palm where I'm getting balls hit here and they're just kind of shooting up and out. That last one's a perfect example. I caught the ball like up here because it first hit palm and then tried to shoot out and I like pinched it right here. Did I mention that it's like stretchy earlier? That's what I'm noticing. It just feels like it kind of, even though it's not that broken in, just like moves a lot. I don't have good feel for the ball. I'm not in love with just the leather type. Let's see, I don't know dude. Let's just fiddle with the Gamer XLE really quick. I, it's so much more enjoyable to field with. The pattern is what makes the big difference. It's not even like the leather type. Oh, sucky, sucky, mucky, rucky, chucky. Don't say the F1. When I take my shoes off, we should say, who let the dogs out? Who? It hurt. That was a bad hit, don't do that again. <laughs> I just ran away. I was like, no. It just gobbles, dude. It's so, it's just so much more friendly of a glove. So much more welcoming to the ball, quick, easy transfers. I, I just, the pattern, it's insane. I literally just didn't put my glove far down enough. I like how I talk good about a glove and then I, second chance right here for 44. I don't think my problem is the pattern. I don't just love the pattern, that's the only problem. I think it's the leather itself. I got so scared, how'd I miss the ball? Here's 
what I'm thinking. So if I wanted this like higher quality feeling glove, cause this does, it does feel more like a high quality glove. I don't have to pay a whole lot more just to get a 44 kit, which in my opinion, if you get the right one, like the EX10, okay, for the price, pretty, pretty solid 44. Thank you, good job, I don't know what I'm saying. Whereas our Gamer XLE here definitely feels more like the budget glove a little bit softer, a little bit more squish Walmart feel, but it feels like it's performing better. And just to be clear, I probably put twice as much work into the break-in on our 44 that I did this. They're not that far off from each other. Neither of these are like perfectly game ready. They're practice ready. As of now, I'm taking our Gamer XLE still because I feel like this glove just serves a better purpose. If I want a professional glove, I can go get one. I can get the slightly better version of a 44. This is the budget glove in my opinion still, but we still have a couple other things to talk about. I just found out my mic was muted for like a whole thing I just recorded. Well, I wonder how long it is. <laughs> Starting over. So there's pros and cons with both of these gloves. I'm gonna end up telling you the best scenario for each glove and which one I'm gonna take personally. But first, let's talk about a few things I missed. Laces on both of these gloves are actually pretty impressive. Rawlings has kind of always had good laces, but this is like pretty dang solid thick. Heavy duty plus the color's awesome. I just gotta say, there's not a ton of customized options. Does that make sense? There's less options when you're customizing one of the Speed Customs, but I mean, I think this looks sick. I think it turned out awesome. And then I've also heard rumors that they're trying to add as much as they can. They're trying to add for space mitts, catcher's mitts. So it's gonna expand and grow. And then I also found out that this is confirmed the C2 just rebrand. So some people are like upset by that, but you guys, I, there's no reason to be upset. This is good leather, it's really cheap, and they're making it get to your door fast. So I, I just, I don't have any complaints. I think that's awesome. I'm also just surprised I never like actually used the C2 before because it's like really solid. Like why was no one shouting that out? I had like one or two people be like, hey, it's actually pretty solid. Like we should have been talking about this. I just can't, that was bad branding. Cause like the, there was the 44 classic series and you know my old 44? Which one, like the first one you got? Yeah. Yeah. Where is that? Whoa, I just realized I have no idea where that is. Is it not in the office? No. I wonder if I lost it. So anyway, the original 44 sucked, and then they called it the C2, which is terrible branding because it's completely different. So like, yeah, they should have come up with a whole new name so that nobody like compared them. Anyway, um, here, come here, ready? You're gonna pretend to be a tripod. All right, let's get into the pros and cons of the 44. Pros, so I don't know what the pros are, I forgot. Just to be clear, this is pros for gloves under $200. So I'm not comparing this to like an A2K. Leather, 100% leather. Like the whole thing is leather. Like this is a professional feeling glove, like we said before. Gotta take that away as like an awesome positive. Most gloves under $200 feel pretty youth and childish. This one honestly has a little bit more of that like budget youth feel. This one's kind of small because they both have really good construction, but like overall, zero problems with anything construction the stitching's all like perfect so it was just put together well the last pro is actually both pro and con and so it came in two to three weeks which is awesome but then the con is that it took two to three weeks so this is a stock glove i'm getting this in three days i'm getting this in like three weeks big difference but they're also one's customized one's not so with that being said the first con is that it takes a few weeks to ship out now we can make those letters like really small because that doesn't matter that much considering it's custom second con is a big one 44 has always had a problem with this lack of consistency in shape and what i mean by that is like they just kind of have like this like stock shape it doesn't feel personal this is awesome this is super mediocre what i mean is if you get a 44 wait a couple years get another one they're gonna feel pretty dang different most likely then with rawlings i really like this pro 31 Love it, use it for a couple years, get another Pro 31. It's gonna feel extremely, extremely similar. It's a huge pro for like Rawlings Wilson, Mizuno even, 44 doesn't have that. The con is bad shaping, lack of consistency, not good pattern. Okay, that's kind of it for the cons. If you remember before, I mentioned them being like a little bit stretchy almost, where if I push in here, it kind of pulls back. Yes, that is still true, but also you guys, this is a phenomenal option. 160 bucks. Now the Rawlings. Pros. The pattern is just incredible, especially for anybody like youth guys out there. Fantastic option. The only thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't go too in the pinky because it's like super, super deep that way. The leather on here is honestly just slightly inferior to the 44, but here's the thing. If it's close, if it's not a big difference, I'm going to take a better pattern every day over better leather. 
the pattern just makes way bigger of a difference when it comes to you actually on the field playing. And then again, like construction, the way the glove is put together, it's just fantastic. It's a great glove. There are some cons though. Let me explain this. There's only three options for the Gamer XLE. This is our 11 and a half inch model. Love it. There's a 12 and a quarter inch model that's like too big for infield and then a little bit too short for outfield. Weird pattern. And then a catcher's mitt. Haven't used a catcher's mitt myself, but we know that we love these two. If the Gamer XLE fits what you need, I recommend it all day, every day. I love it. Guys, cannot sleep on how good the 31 pattern is. Love this thing. It's like super, super good for youth. If you are under like 12 years old, I highly recommend a Pro 31 pattern and specifically the Gamer XLE. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Love the glove. That's where our problem comes in. Maybe you need like a 1275 outfield glove. I'm gonna actually advise design a 44. These speed customs, if you know you can spend like 160 bucks, this is a fan fantastic option. Maybe you just want that customized glove because this is just one stock look. Honestly, 44 has just been killing it lately. Now they have one of the best budget gloves possible, but there's a lot more to choose from. I made an entire budget glove list. Please go check it out. Worth watching, I promise. <laughs> you missed me the first time.